If you live in the Salinas Valley, your garbage from school and home comes to the Johnson Canyon landfill to be buried. Each one of us sends approximately 5 pounds of garbage per day. That's about the same as a school backpack full of garbage. Today, we will learn about how the Johnson Canyon landfill handles all of this garbage. Welcome to Johnson Canyon Virtual Tour. My name is Lisa Alcala. I'm 11 years old. I'm so happy to introduce my friend Wally. I remember when Wally used to come to our schools. Mr. Wally Wasta. We're extremely happy to guide you to know more about our local landfill, Johnson Canyon, located outside the city of Gonzales. So, what is a landfill? Well, Wally told me that a landfill is like a big hole on the ground where the garbage is buried. For example, when the garbage truck comes to pick up the garbage from your school, home, or local stores, it's then brought to the landfill to be buried. At the landfill, there are areas for customers to recycle materials like concrete, clean wood, mattresses, and more. Anything else that we cannot recycle is garbage. For example, when your family cleans out the garage or the backyard, they load the garbage and recycling into a truck or trailer, and then bring it to the landfill. Items that can be recycled should be dropped off at the recycling area first. And what is left is garbage and is taken to be buried. All vehicles coming to the landfill must stop at the scale to weigh their garbage. It's important to recycle first because we can reuse these items or make them into something new instead of burying them. Okay, let's go to the first stop of the tour. We are here at the recycling area. Before you go to bury garbage, customers can recycle glass, cardboard, and more. We also have a special bin to collect youth clothing and textiles. We also have a special place for customers to drop off their used antifreeze, batteries, motor oil, and paint. Free of charge, we call it a box. Wally just showed me what an open face and landfill module are. Let's talk about an open face first. When you throw your garbage away, this is where it ends up. Welcome to Away. Please make sure to recycle right at home and school so we can save space at the landfill. You can see the big tractor with spiked wheels that goes back and forth over the garbage to compact and crush the garbage. So we can save space to add more garbage the next day. We keep dumping and compacting the garbage every day for many years until we build a big mountain of garbage. The tractor that runs over the garbage weighs about 100,000 pounds. It's really heavy. Now let me explain to you how each landfill is built. We make holes on the ground that we call modules. We are now at module seven. Each module is built as follows to protect our soil and water. We first compact the soil. Then we add a layer of two feet of clay soil. Then we put a plastic layer. Then another layer of thick plastic. Then a drainer plastic layer. Then we finish up with two feet of soil. It's kind of like making a pizza. You have to start with a good first layer of crust so that the sauce, cheese, and all the delicious toppings do not get soggy and fall apart. This module seven is our new hole in the ground and it's going to take about six years to fill up with garbage. The height of this module will be like stacking up 20 school buses. After this module is full of garbage, we have to open another module. Wow, Wally, it's amazing to be standing over 44 years of garbage since this landfill was opened in 1976. We are standing over temporarily closed modules and they will be open in the future years to add more garbage. If you have lived in the Salinas Valley in the last 44 years, your garbage was buried below this mountain. When garbage is rotten or breaking down, it creates gas. We collect this gas with big pipes and use it to create electricity. We produce enough electricity for about 1,500 homes. Wow, that's amazing.
In this area of the landfill, we recycle construction and demolition material like asphalt, concrete, and other building materials. Construction and demolition material is created when people are doing new construction at their homes or when new schools are built. That waste is called construction and demolition. This material is ground and reused at the landfill or used to make new roads. That's right, Wally. The Salinas Valley produces most of the world's salads, but not all of it makes it to the grocery store or to people's bellies. A lot of this food is thrown away, but we want to rescue as much of this as we can instead of burying it all at the landfill. That is why we have this machine called the D-Packager. The machine works like when you are unwrapping a present. The packaged food goes into the machine and gets unwrapped. The food waste looks like salsa and it is turned into compost or soil. And the empty plastic waste from the packaged food is going to be buried at the landfill. Whoa, imagine if we could bring all of the packaged food that is thrown away in the school cafeterias and unwrap the food to make soil. That would be amazing. Remember that at home, you have a cart to recycle yard waste. Families put all of their weeds, plant trimmings, and grass into the yard waste bin. The garbage truck picks up the yard waste bin at home and it's brought here. We have a big machine that grinds up all the yard waste into tiny pieces. We make big piles and turn it into compost or soil. Wally, I think you're missing something. We need to add a raw arrow on your face. We also have another area where we accept clean wood like pallets or wood that has never been painted or stained. All of the wood is ground into small pieces that we call mulch and wood chips. This material is used in some playground areas in the park or you can use it in your garden or yard. Remember to recycle at home and at school. When you throw your garbage away, it comes to the landfill to be buried forever. Please remind your friends, classmates, and teacher to recycle right and only throw away what is truly garbage. Thanks for joining us on the landfill tour. We hope to see you soon.